to my TikTok family who have loved and supported me. Ya kwanza kusema asante. Thank you very much for your love and for your support and for everything. Now, um I know most Kenyans have lost hope. And most of you can see where this country is heading. And you are relying on Morara. But I want to tell you this. I'm nothing without you. And if you rely on me too much without doing something yourself, I'll not succeed. My success is based on how much you also do as an individual. Me I'm grateful that you've given me that influence to be able to influence change at a higher level. Lakini wewe 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 ujue kwamba hata wewe uko na kazi ya kufanya. Kwamba hii kazi tunaifanya sisi wote. Now some of you have asked me why do we need a political party? The reason we need a political party is so that uh, the railroading movement does not repeat itself. The Gen Z went to the streets. It's like somebody who goes to hunt then when you bring the meat home you sleep hungry you don't eat other people eat. And you see mlikuwa mnapigania joho paranya wapate vit. The Gen Z never got the change they wanted. They fought for the finance bill but it never succeeded because they removed the finance bill but signed the appropriations bill. Ruto removed the cabinet and brought back same same monkeys same forest. The replacements he bought were just as worse as the other replace as the other people he had in the cabinet. So what I want to tell you my friends is this. Uh, I know most of you have told me. I even see your inboxes. Msema Morara tuite maandamano hata sai. We need to go to the streets. We need to go to the streets. All I can tell you is uh, friends. It's not your time. Bad. It's not your time to go to the streets. I know some of you will disagree with me, but bad. Hii ni gideri tunaendelea kupika na ijaiva. Na the reason haijaiva ni kwa sababu wewe ambao unatazama hii video you've not done your part. One of the things we need to do is we need to remember that 70% of Kenya they don't live in Nairobi, they don't live in Mombasa, they don't live in Kisumu. They live in villages. They don't live in the cities or towns. They live in the villages. Sasa wale watu wa TikTok wenye tayari mko kwa villages, you need to inject, you need to do civic education to the people that are there. Because the only way we can have a revolution in this country is if the majority of the country is with us. Lakini sasa kama watu wako kwa village Sirisi ya member of parliament kesi ya corruption imeanguka yenye mali ya wakenya iliibiwa na mnamsherekea. Kwa vinya ndeti ametoka kupeleka pesa yenu huko UK, anarudi mnampokea kwa mbwembwe. You realize that the problem is not the leaders, the problem is the people. So lazima to change vile watu wanafikiria. That's why naambia wale wanasema we go to the streets kwamba hold off kidogo. I'm not saying we won't do it, we'll do it and we'll do it very soon. But can we gather enough momentum? Even a tsunami has to gather enough water. All right? Can we gather enough momentum? So that if we do something, we are not doing it to fail. Remember most of the Kenyans are afraid. And for us to lose that fear, that that there has to be something that has happened like civic education, very serious civic education on why they need to lose their fear. Otherwise mtatokea kwa streets only 20 people, the police will kill you and that will be the end. We need a Bangladesh style of revolution for us to bring the change that we want. But for us to get that kind of revolution, my friends, we need to do very very serious civic education. And nafaa tujitolee kila mtu kwa hali na mali. Now me I've been trying, but as you know civic education comes at a cost. Hata nyinyi mkianza mtaona tu <laughs> wale wanasema oh morara unaomba omba una raise funds sana wachana fanya kazi Mukianza hiyo kazi yenye nafanya mtajua <laughs> mtajua kwamba hiyo kazi ni si kazi rahisi it needs resources and um, because you can't beg people all the time for donations we have to come up with creative ways to raise resources and that's why I've come up with the issue of doing the t-shirts you know different types of merchandise so that as people buy they have something to wear but they are also donating in a, in a way that will have money for doing civic education and for you know opening up people's eyes and that's the purpose for which i plan to use the funds now some other people have asked why we need the party as i've told you there is no reason to support you to remove a government if you don't have a replacement not even the us not even canada not china not russia no one is going to support you to remove 
a government, however corrupt it is, as long as it's a stable government. Hata kama iko corrupt imewaidia kila kitu, lakini iko stable imehold security at the state. They'll never support you. Why? Because for them to support you, you need to have an alternative system. Now, as young leaders, you need to tell me what are you doing to groom yourself as replacements to the corrupt leadership that we have. What are you doing? And how are you organizing yourself? Because ours is a party democracy. Without a party, we are going nowhere. Because otherwise, we'll go to the streets, demonstrate, remove the government, yes, but somebody else who didn't go to the streets will take advantage, become president, appoint his ministers, continue with the corruption. Either a military officer or some corrupt politician. So we need to organize ourselves into a system where we are already mentoring ourselves to be a replacement to those corrupt leaders that we don't like. So we must be the change that we want to see. <sighs> now, not everybody supports us. Kuna wanyo atapinga, kuna atatu ita majina, kuna wanyo atatu tusi. But let me tell you something. Kama hautaki matusi, wachana na mambo ya mwongozi kapsa, <laughs> mambo ya uongozi utatusiwa na ubembelezi watu watakutusi watu watakwambia wewe ni wewe ni wewe ni people even tell you you are poor wewe ulikuwa maskini wewe kabla kuanza siasa siasa ndio imekusaidia umenua nyumba ama umenua gari ama bibi yako amejizaa hospitalini kwa sababu siasa imekulipia hospitali people say things that will hurt you and things that will go into your heart and into your brain and hurt you properly So kama uko na feelings wewe ni mtu wa kukasirika haraka wachana na mambo ya uongozi kabisa itaku stress itakuumiza So we need our own party to organize for the next step because after the revolution you need leadership So we need to groom those leaders now That's the only way we get even support uh, what I have to say lastly is um, Leadership it comes from God, but is rubber stamped by man. It is men that give a man favor to lead them. And uh, the burden of leadership is painful. Personally, leadership has brought a very huge inconvenience into my life. Yani, <laughs> imeni umeza na imeni inconvenience sana. Juu nafikiria ungeku umerelax mahali una watch movie yako Netflix una sip juice yako bila kusumbuana na watu but here you are you know struggling and sometimes you are fighting the government but at the same time the people you are fighting for are also fighting you so unapata kuwa kazi ngumu sana inabidi upigane na serikali na bado upigane na hao watu ambao unapigania and people think that leadership is so you know nice It's powerful, it's enjoyable. It's not. It's a big inconvenience. It's painful. Ni kitu yani I cannot wish on you. I admire your lives. I admire how much you sleep. I admire how much you enjoy your meals. How much you eat. Sasa kama mimi kutoka asubuhi sijakula. Na unaona saa hii ni karibu midnight. I've not eaten anything since morning because I've not found the time to eat anything. So wale ambao mnaweza niendelea kunishikilia na kuniombea na kuni support please do I need it. Wale watanipiga ni sawa you are a motivation. Uh, Mkinipiga the more mnanipiga the more na pata sababu ya kuendelea because now I have somebody I need to disappoint. Uh, uh, if somebody says for example I'm a project I need to stay in the game. I need to stay consistent so that I prove I'm not. If somebody says um uh um a coward i need to stay in the game and do some real confidence until they realize that i'm not so the only way to win this is consistency any lie that is said about me right now the only way i will defeat that lie is if i remain focused consistent and i never change because if i change people will say mnaona situliwaambia so now they've provoked me i have to stay even if i i thought of lifting hata kama ningekuwa nimefikiria ah ikitu ndafanya fanya hii mwezi mwezi ya pili bana nimechoka niende nikapumzike na have to keep doing it so keep supporting as where you can if you need to buy merchandise if you need to donate i assure you there is no revolution without resources hiyo msidanganywe we need resources for example if we decide now we want to go to narok tomorrow to do civic education we need probably a tent if we don't need a tent we may need an umbrella or we may need this and that that is resources otherwise bye and god bless you